Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Libre Translate on CosOS using Bitbear CosOS, the third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today, Library Translate. It's a free and open source machine translation API, self-hosted, offline capable, and easy to set up. Um, it uses its own uh, mo models with Argos Translate li Library. Um, it's it's uh, This is what the UI looks like, and uh, it can also be an API. So I'm going to go into Try It Online. So, so now I'm going to type testing in. I'm going to go and change the language to Spanish. There we go. It's working. You can also use an API like I was saying in the GitHub. And then th there we go. So that's what we'll be installing today on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Casa OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And um, this uh, is a third party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, that there's quite a few apps nowadays in it, and um, I did make a how to install Beaver Cost OS on Cost OS video, but I'm gonna be going over in this video as well. Um, the custom app store is only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm gonna scroll up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it, then I'm gonna go to my Cost OS and get the app store set up. So now I'm gonna start on my Cost OS, I'm gonna go to App Store. Then I'm going to go to more apps over here. I'm going to click it. Then a text input pops out. I'm going to paste in what I copied over in the Big Bear Cost OS uh, GitHub. Then I'm going to say add. Now we have 174 apps. So um, you can go over here and uh, after you refresh the page, go back in the app store, go to categories again. Now you see Big Bear Cost OS. So you can click it. Then you can see all the apps supported in Big Bear Cost OS. So now I'm going to go over the Big Bear Cost OS. The, there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to the search and I'm going to um, search for Libre. So now uh, I'm going to go to apps and then Libre Translate. Then I'm going to go to the Docker and Pose. So uh, the name of the Cost OS app is Big Bear Libre Translate. I'm going to set some services, and then the first service underneath services is called Big Bear Li Libre Translate. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Libre Translate, and this makes it to where Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And then the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this. Libre Translate, and Libre Translate is the Docker image. The Docker image tag is this. And then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then environment variables. So we're going to enable the API keys. What we're going to put the path is app db API keys dot db. This is on the container because the container doesn't know anything about the host pass. And then uh, LT update models. Uh, this makes it to where on the startup it updates the models. And then now I'm going to load only a certain amount of models, but you can ch change this and add and remove. So volumes are data, app data, dy dynamic variable app ID that's coming from the name up here. And um, now a, d a DB. So, so this is on the host side. And then this is on the container side. It's app DB. On the host side right here is the same path with the dynamic variable and then the dot local. And then on the container side is this, and it's read write. So the port mappings are 5,000 on the host and then 5,000 on the container. Do not change the container side. And then uh, I'm gonna enable a logging. And then hell checks the X cost OS information to explain the app volumes and ports 
In the end, now I'm going to explain the app and the app store and X cost of this information. I'm going to explain the architectures of AMD 64 and ARM 64. This is what the image up here supports. And um, the main is Big Bear at Libre Translate. And you can see the ser service up here is Big Bear at Libre Translate. So that goes with that. Then description, the tagline, the developer, the author, the icon, and then thumbnail, the title, the category, so you can find all the Big Bear Cost OS apps in the App Store by clicking the category. And then port map is 5000, and that rhymes with the host port up here of 5000. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then to search and type Libre. So, now you can see right here. So, I'm going to install. I'm going to continue in background. So what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting up with Docker Impose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. And then um, once it's get, uh, done, it'll show up an icon here and you'll be able to click on it. So now we got it up and running and it's good to go. So now I'm going to go over um, the Libre Translate app settings. So if you go up these vertical dots right here, you click it, you can open into the web UI, you can set some tips. So this is kind of like a notepad, so you can edit right here, and then you can type in there, save, and then it reloads the container. It says Libre Translate is okay. You can go back in the tips, and you can see that it did save. You can go into settings right here. You can change some settings, and um, you can press the save button. You can also go up to terminal logs and go in the container. You can also see uh, the container logs right here. And you can see it downloaded the models. Um, you can um, export the Docker and pose right here. I'm going to exit. So um, you can check for updates. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So I'm going to go in the UI now. So you can open it from here or you can open it from here. So um, if uh, it's just like the UI that I, sh I showed you the demo. So we can just type into it and then we can go down here and change the languages and the French, Chinese and English. And there, and there we go. Um, so you can also uh, use an API too. So you can use the translate. Now, if you go up here, you can see the API docs and go into the, uh, the API and see how you can use it. You can go to the GitHub right here. You can uh, set an API key. You can um, ch uh, change the language of the UI. Um, you can change from uh, to dark into light. You can also translate files too. So the text files that are supported, so text, ODT, ODP, DOCX, PPTX, and EPUB, and HTML. You can ch ch change the languages up here still on the files. So um, you can go back to translate text. So that's a little bit about a, li a Libre Translate uh, UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Libre Translate working on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, the third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.